Anathel, Varon, be ready to provide any assistance that Malgos or Krovos should request. This operation is the Empire's top priority. Understood. My logistical networks are entirely at their disposal, Empress. Then this meeting is complete. The next time I come to this chamber, I will have my old seat back. Do you understand me, Anathel? You are still not a part of this Empire or this Council. You have no grounds to challenge me. I am pleased you wish to rejoin us, my old friend. Though this is not the same Dark Council that you once knew. We can discuss this matter further once the attack on Corellia is complete. For now, show us the strength that brought you to this Council in the first place. Commander, fancy meeting you here. Major Anri, are you joining the mission on Onderon? Nah, I pulled off Aaron's operation this time. We're headed for some mined out rock called Mekshar, but word is we might catch up groundside on Corellia. Everyone with a strong arm or sharp aim is heading for Corellia. Should be quite a battle. If you're there, the rest of us probably won't even get the chance to lift a finger. Major Anri, I need to speak with the Commander. Alone. Of course, my lord. Please excuse me. Until next time, Commander. As Sith, it is our nature to seek our own advancement. The Dark Council may have changed, but that drive remains. Victory on Corellia benefits us all. It advances us all. Should Lord Savick or any other Council member forget their priorities in my absence, the Empress grants you leave. To remind them. Some may need harsher reminders than others. Victory on Corellia is our only concern. Losses in pursuit of that goal are acceptable. Lord Savick awaits you. Farewell, Commander. Come in, Lana. Our objective is Onderon. Take everyone we can spare. You'll be briefed on arrival. Understood. We'll depart for Onderon at once. Onderon will return to the old ways. The pure ways. Your blood will wash away centuries of desecration. You don't fight for Onderon. You fight for your own bigoted agenda. You fight. And you lose. His loss is my gain, Nabet. I've beaten you. I've won! Did you really believe you could steal the throne of the great King Petrif? Steal your throne? What in blazes are you talking about? No sense lying now. Your treason is over. I've won. Who's there? Show yourself! Onderon is safe, Senator. That's all you need to know. I don't understand! You will. Soon. Public fleet escaped. Oh, they have escaped for now. With the Commander's aid, I am certain we can still stop them. The Republic fleet escaped. This is only a setback. We have countless alternatives to pursue. The Republic fleet escaped. Savik chose an idiot for an ally and wasted our best chance to destroy the target. She deserves to die. Uh, how... How could... This... Happen? Such a waste. We have no more time to waste. Onderon has been an abject failure. Another fleet of Republic reinforcements is docking at Megshar, as Darth Valron predicted. That will be your next objective. Rendezvous with Valron's forces and ensure he succeeds where Savik failed. Malgus out. So, what's our next stop? 
set course for Mekshar. Ah, we know it well. A mined-out asteroid converted into a fueling station. <coughs> we would love to join you. If you think your alliance has room, of course. Please? Please? It's been a pleasure working with you again. Welcome to the Alliance. Wonderful. <coughs> I have a shuttle prepped and ready, shall we? Meksha isn't Imperial territory. You don't get to ignore my rules! Your... concerns... are noted. Meksha will form an alliance with the Sith Empire. In time, we will become very close friends indeed. We will establish a modest garrison here to ensure the ongoing prosperity and security of our new friends. In return, we gain a valuable fueling outpost that ensures the ongoing efficiency of our operations in this sector. Or you will be replaced. Lana? I believe we're done here. What? What about Meksha? It's yours. Enjoy. There have been some developments. The Republic fleet escaped. They are on their way to Corellia now. Is that so? And what of Shar and Valron? Their obsession with taking control of Meksha cost us the mission. I did what I had to do. As the Empress decreed, the combined strength of the Republic's Onderon and Meksha fleets will present a significant challenge to our Corellia operation. I'm transmitting coordinates now. We will meet to discuss our strategy for the attack immediately. Malgus out. Hey, sounds like I'm headed for Corellia too. How about... What in the... No. You know what? I don't need to know. Wise choice. You're just as sharp as I've heard. Are you one of the ones where I backtalk and get killed? You think that's what got them killed? Backtalk? Them? No, probably had to kill them just to get a word in at all. Oh, I like this one. I've enjoyed working with her so far. Major Anri, this is Lana Benico. Charmed. I got tired of sitting around in the shuttle. So am I clear to come in here or what? Oh. One of those missions, huh? Best not to ask, I find. If only he could help himself. Are we good to go or what? This is not the best neighborhood. Lead the way. You are beaten. Your shipyard will be obliterated. Your Republic will crumble. And your fellow Jedi will be hunted to extinction. Your destruction is inevitable. As inevitable as gravity! Evacuation protocols recommended. Anri, the Jedi smashed the controls. There's no way to bring down the shields. I copy. Raven to command. Shield controls disabled. No alternate controls available. Please advise. All units, evacuate. The mission has failed. The shields cannot be disabled in time. Regroup at RV point crash. You heard her, people. Move out. Fall back, everyone. Fall back! Commander, that was just about the finest work I've ever seen. I know you're in the thick of it, but stop by the cantina later. Same place as last time. Have you lost your mind? Why would you call me here? Well, showing up in person seemed a bit risky. See you soon.
The strategy was clearly flawed. There can be no other explanation. The strategy was perfect. The fleet held up on its end. You suggest that Darth Malgus and the Alliance Commander, perhaps the two deadliest beings in the galaxy, are the ones who fell short. No. I merely suggest that our strategy was not at fault. The Commander is here now. We can learn the truth of these events straight from the source. The Jedi defending the shipyard was a fanatic. She destroyed everything at the cost of her own life. It wasn't something we could have planned for. The same Jedi was at Osis with you and Malgus. Tau Adair, and her death has not yet been confirmed. Where is Malgus now? He was retrieved before the Republic retook the shipyard. His... <sighs> reconstruction will take time. Not unlike our fleet in the aftermath of this battle. The silencers remain intact, thanks to the cover provided by the Alliance fleet. But our Isotope 5 reserves are all but depleted, and we lost many more ships than we'd anticipated. All of this might have been a worthy trade in case of victory, but in defeat, we will be forced to cede significant territories. Then we must look to our allies to secure our path forward. Commander, we will count on the aid of your Alliance now more than ever. We will do everything necessary to defend the Empire. That is good to hear. We should speak in private, Commander. The rest of you are dismissed. What did I say the last time we were in this chamber? <sighs> <sighs> Quite unnecessary, but I suppose your help is worth the indulgence. It has become clear that the Dark Council is best suited to functions of management, and cannot be fully entrusted with matters of war. The Empire needs an organization capable of rapid, decisive action, operating outside the Dark Council's purview. A group answering directly to me. My predecessor had such a group, The Hand though its members were insane, murderous fanatics. I will construct my own hand, formed of the Empire's best and most loyal frontline personnel. I would have your alliance work directly with the hand from this point forward. The Dark Council will no longer be involved in your operations on our behalf. Together, the Hand and the Alliance will seek out the Empire's enemies wherever they may be and destroy them without hesitation or delay. A very wise course of action, Empress. Thank you. For now, rest and prepare for the battles to come. We still have a long road ahead of us. Farewell, 